video is part of the Move On When Reading application support series and will focus on accessing the Mauer portal as an LEA approver in order to review, accept for aggregation, and submit an aggregated literacy assessment data submission to the ADE's Move On When Reading team by October 1st, February 1st, and June 1st each year. An LEA approver can monitor which schools within their organization have submissions waiting review in the yellow box shown here, as well as school organizations which need to submit their literacy assessment data in the top orange box. You can click on an organization's link to view the school's contact details. However, this will not open the school level data portal. At this LEA level, you do not have access to edit any school submissions. The purpose is to review and accept for aggregation, just as was done with the literacy plan. To begin the review process, click the blue hyperlink to open a school's data submission. As the LEA approver, it is the responsibility of this organization's literacy leader to verify three key pieces of information entered by each school. First, the total number of students at benchmark, approaching benchmark, and significantly at risk based on the reporting guidelines of the selected Universal Literacy and Dyslexia Screener. Most commonly, this is the composite score for the appropriate grade level screening measures. Next, verify the actual start and end date for this school screening administration period which was conducted on this campus. And lastly, a descriptive data narrative based on reflections of this Windows data should be closely considered. This text box can be enlarged for easier readability. If any information is inaccurate or incomplete, click the yellow reject button at this time. Since you do not have access in this view to edit any information, a rejection would need to take place in order to make the edits by the school prover. Once redirected to the LEA homepage, you will now see the school submission in the top box waiting review with the status R for reject and the date timestamp. Only a school approver can then edit this information via their school approver portal. If you are both a school approver and an LEA approver, you will need to log out of this portal and re-access your Mauer portal application at the school entity. If you do not have both roles, please now communicate to your school literacy leader which edits need to take place and your timeline to resubmit this submission. If all information is accurate and complete, you may now accept for aggregation you will be automatically redirected back to the home page and will now see that you have one organization in the aggregate submission within the green box. This review and accept process will need to be repeated for all schools until all schools in your parent organization are included in the aggregate. Accepting for aggregation does not submit to the ADE. This last step must be completed. Click here to combine all school submissions and submit to ADE. This same multi-step process must be completed for all organizations, including those with only one school. You are now looking at a sample view of an organization with only one school. You will see the total number of students as well as the percentage at benchmark approaching benchmark and significantly at risk. Towards the bottom, you'll see the school's organization name, administration testing dates, and the data narrative entered at the school level. To see a tool or breakdown of the number of students, click on the hyperlink for any grade level. For parent organizations with more than one school, your final step is now combined view. The student data is now combined percentages for all schools. You will still verify all information, including administration dates for each campus, and especially data narratives, which should vary from school to school. If at this point you have discovered an error in any school submission, you can remove this school from aggregation. Click any grade level to find the red remove button. 
Once you click remove for any school, you will receive an alert verifying this action. The aggregate view now no longer includes that school submission. You must now navigate back to the home page to now see the school in the yellow box waiting to be reviewed. You must reject this submission in order for the school approver to regain access. Prior to submitting to ADE, enter any district or charter level comments or explanations for the Move On When Reading team. For example, in this case, Jefferson Elementary only services first through third graders. This information is helpful during the review process. If all information is accurate and complete, and you have entered any additional comments for the team, you may now submit to ADE. Thank you for completing this multi-step process for the literacy assessment data submission. As always, please contact Move On When Reading with any further questions.